Let's take a look at how Stokes' law applies to dispersed systems. So this is both suspensions and emulsions. So with Stokes' law, it tells us that the rate of particle settling is going to be equal to the diameter of the particle squared times the density of the particle um, minus the density of the medium and that is going to be multiplied by the gravitational constant. So that's going to be the numerator. That whole term is going to be divided by 18 times the viscosity of the medium. What this tells us is that our rate of particle settling will increase as we increase particle size um, or diameter or we increase particle density. So looking at these first two parameters here, increasing either one of those will increase the rate of settling. Uh, we will also increase particle settling if we decrease uh, the density of the medium, um, so that's uh, this term here, or decrease um, the viscosity of the medium um, there in the denominator. So either of those approaches will result in an increase in the rate of particle settling. Let's take a look at using this equation to solve for the particular rate of a particle settling um, under a given set of circumstances. So what we'll do here, um, we'll say that our rate is going to be equal to our um, particle diameter squared. Remember we want this in centimeters so our size will be 150 times 10 to the minus 4 centimeters. We remember to square that. That's going to be multiplied by the density of our particle so the 2.5 uh, grams per mil. I'll leave off the unit since we're running out of space here. Minus the density of our medium so this is the one point two uh, grams per cubic centimeter times our gravitational constant and we'll use the 981 centimeters per second squared and then this is going to be divided by 18 times our viscosity um, in poise so this is 20 poise so if we go ahead and punch all that into our calculator uh, we should come up with a rate that's going to be equal to 7.97 times 10 to the minus 4 centimeters per second. Remember that a positive sign on the rate um, means that the particle will settle to the bottom. A negative uh, rate means that the particle, and this is usually with emulsions, can rise to the top. So that would be um, with an emulsion, a positive rate would be a downward creaming, um, and a negative rate would be an upward creaming. We can also take a look at how particle size is going to affect the rate of settling. Remember that um, in terms of size, that diameter parameter is squared in this equation. So if we hold all of these other parameters constant and change only particle size, we would expect that if we go from a 150 micron particle to a 300 micron particle, uh, that's a two-fold change in our diameter. So if we go ahead and square that, we would expect a four-fold increase in the rate of particle settling. Similarly, if we go to a 750 micron particle, uh, that is a five-fold increase in our particle size. So if we square that term, we would then see a 25-fold increase in the rate of particle settling. And then lastly, we could take that 1500 micron diameter particle. That is a tenfold increase in the particle diameter, so we would then square that, and so we expect a hundredfold increase 
and the rate of settling. We can also take a look at the effects that the viscosity of the medium have on the rate of particle settling. Uh, so remember here the viscosity term is in our denominator. Um, just circled that in red. So this, as we increase viscosity, um, we will decrease the rate of particle settling. So if we go from, say, a 20 poise uh, to something that has a viscosity of 40 poise, um, that's a two-fold change. And we don't um, have any modifications to the viscosity uh, term here, so that will be a two-fold decrease in the rate of particle settling since we're dividing by that term. Um, if instead we decrease the viscosity, um, let's say we went to a viscosity of 10 poise, that would actually give us a uh, two-fold increase in our rate of particle settling. So you'd be dividing by 0.5, which would give you a two-fold increase. So if we want to look at combining these effects um, and the effects that they have on rate of particle settling, we can look at a powder of two different sizes, 5 micron, 0.5 micron, and then we're going to place that powder in either water, uh, which has a relatively low viscosity there, 1 centipoise, or glycerol uh, with 400 centipoise. Our fastest particle settling is going to happen when we have a large diameter and a low viscosity. So that means our fastest uh, moving particle is going to be the 5 micron uh, particle in water. Uh, we would then, the, the next second fastest would also, if you look, we have a 400 fold um, change in the viscosity term. Um, we're only going to have a, um, we have a tenfold decrease in size. Um, so if we square that term, we're looking at an effect of just a, a hundredfold effect. So the viscosity effects are larger, meaning that our um, smaller particle in water would have the um, second fastest rate of settling. And so we can just continue the trend there. That would be followed by the five micron um, particle in glycerol and our slowest rate of settling would be with the smallest uh, particle under the highest viscosity conditions. So that pretty much wraps up uh, all you need to know about Stokes' Law and how it applies to dispersed systems.